Okay, today I'm going to show you some of the basic shapes in polymer clay. And we can use all these shapes to make all sorts of wonderful sculptures. You always start out with a ball. And you just roll it gently between your hands like this until it's nice and smooth. This also helps warm up the clay. And you just apply gentle pressure to get it into a nice smooth ball. Next we have an egg. With an egg, you just put a little bit of extra pressure on one end and roll it. And try and keep it even. Just roll it between your palms. And then you can shape it a little bit with your fingers if you need a little more shaping there. And then you've got a teardrop shape, and that just takes the smaller end and makes it a little longer and a little sharper. And you just roll that end to a point. And there you have a teardrop. And a teardrop can turn into a cone by simply pressing the bottom flat. And there you have a nice little cone. For a football, you just take the thicker end of your cone and roll that to a point. And there you have a football shape, sort of. <laughs> and you can refine this as necessary. Make it skinnier or fatter, however you need. And now for a drumstick. We'll start out with our ball. And we'll roll that into an egg. And then we'll take our fingers, put it on your palm, and roll with your fingers to give it a bit of an indentation. And you just keep rolling until you get it the size you like. And there you have a drumstick shape. For a rope, you start with a ball. Then you roll your ball into a log between your hands. And then to lengthen it, put it on your work surface. And roll your hands back and forth along the length of it. As it gets longer, you can use two hands and try to keep even pressure so that you end up with a nice smooth rope of clay. For a cube, you start with a ball and then take your fingers on opposite sides and start to press gently. Turn it, press the other sides, and then put it on your work surface and press each side so that you get a fairly square cube of clay. And just keep flipping it until it's nice and even. And there you have a little cube of clay. <clears throat> For a ghost shape, we'll start with our ball, turn it into an egg, turn the egg into a drumstick, and then we'll take the fat end and we'll roll a tail, a pointed tail if you will. You can roll it on your work surface to get it longer and skinnier. And there you've got a bit of a little ghost in it. And those are some of the basic shapes that we'll use in making our polymer clay sculptures. Now be sure to subscribe to Creative Critters on YouTube so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Thanks for watching. And Calcifer says thank you too. Mm -hmm.